I am now at Costco's. I'm at Costco's and they are doing a marvelous work on keeping the store's shelves stocked. Yeah, they are. They're doing an excellent job. Okay, let's see what's happening here. You know what I found that was interesting? This right here. Ready Wise Emergency Food Supply. How do you like that? What's the price on that? $73.99. Okay, but as far as the eye can see, everything is stocked up in here. To the rafters, y'all. If you want anything in big quantity, Costco. Fully stocked on the meat, y'all. Mm. If you're in the market for fish, this is the place. Ooh, pretty. Look at the salmon, y'all. All things considered, the prices are not bad. And she wants me to get some toys. Okay, okay, okay. This is gorgeous. This is an azalea. And once again, I'm telling you what. I did not buy this brand new. This is another propagated plant growing beautifully. I took a part or piece of an existing azalea and I used the root hormone Put it in the ground and the rest is up to the Lord. And look what he has done. He has such an incredible palette of color. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. I didn't have to buy a brand new plant. I just used what I already have over and over again. Just use what you already have. Stick it in the ground and see what happens. You don't have anything to lose, everything to gain. These are Nandinas. These are all propagated from one plant. They don't look too good right now, but this is the beginning of the season. Watch what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you. You don't have to buy anything brand new. Once you begin to propagate those that are propagatable, you're gonna be a happy camper. You have lots of money in your pocket. This is an Althea. Look at this Althea. I took this Althea from another plant. Another Althea. That's what I did. Root hormone, put it in the ground, and look what the Lord did. It has nothing to do with me. These are purple hearts. Purple hearts add beautiful color as borders in your yard, in your garden. You only need one. I got all of these and then some spread out all over the yard. Look at this. This is the golden Unamis. This is the clipping I took off of it. Propagation again. I'll be back with you in another maybe three weeks and you're going to be amazed at the growth. This is my beautiful hostas. Propagated from all the other hostas that I have in the yard. One there, one over there. All of these are boxwoods. These are boxwoods. And I took all of these small samplings of boxwoods from these larger ones. I'll be back with you in a couple of weeks to show you. They're going to almost catch up to the original. Okay guys, this is the Coreopsis beginning to bloom. Another one of those perennials. Perennials are plants that grow back every year. You don't have to sweat it. 
planet let it go it's coming back every year this is a beautiful beautiful plant this is just the beginning of the season but i'm gonna get back with you on this one as well because it's fabulous i hope you can see these are the hostas about to bloom two more weeks and they'll be full bloom beautiful beautiful another plant that you can spread all over your yard you only have to buy it once once guys these are dusty millers keep an eye because I'm gonna come back to you on this these were propagated last week these are dusty millers I thinned out the main one that I have only one that I have and I have I have several potted plants of them and I use it, I use the root stimulator again, the hormone stimulator. And once they are stimulated and the roots grow in, I can go ahead and put them back in the soil all over my yard. It's going to be fabulous. I want you to take a look at my beautiful Jane Magnolia. Look at this. This is a Jane Magnolia. I put this in the ground two years ago. Look at the progress already. Let me show you the sister to this one. This is the sister to the Jane Magnolia that I just showed you. I put this in the ground, maybe the beginning of January. Look at it. It's well over two feet tall. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. If you like dogwoods, this is a beautiful dogwood. And again, in the beginning, it took a bit of work to get it started. It didn't like the soil that it was in, probably didn't like the hill that it was on, but eventually, this is what it came out to be. It's gorgeous. Okay. I love plants. I also love vegetables. And I'm just digging out a section of my yard. It's not a lot of space, but it's enough to try planting cucumbers. I'm gonna start with cucumbers. I have two rows and I'm gonna add my compost and I'm gonna add my seeds. And we're gonna have some cucumbers 